We'll now recognize the gentleman from South Carolina, Mr. Gowdy, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Administrator Leonhardt, if an agent stateside were soliciting a prostitute that was provided by a drug conspiracy he was investigating, what would punishment would you recommend? I, I can't recommend a punishment. I would just hope that would be thoroughly investigated and um, so you're telling me nobody cares what the administrator of the DEA thinks should happen to an agent. You're powerless to express your opinion. You have no First Amendment right when it comes to who works for your agency. I have expressed my opinion what in a number of opinion? ways. What was your opinion? What did you express? What did you think last the proper year, sanction was? Last year, I sent uh, email and I sent a memo to every employee in DEA and put them on notice that this kind of conduct my, my, was not my question My question must have been ambiguous because I wasn't talking about future conduct. I was talking about past conduct. What punishment did you, rep did you re recommend for conduct that happened in the past? Under the civil service law, I cannot recommend a penalty. I can't intervene in the disciplinary process. I can't even make a recommendation. What what to does the it take to officials. get what what would it hypothetically what would it take to get fired as a DEA agent? Because the agents I used to work with were worried about using their car to go pick up dry cleaning. They they were actually worried about using their OGF OGV to to pick up dry cleaning. They they were worried about being disciplined. Apparently, that world has changed. Do you know whether any of the prostitutes were underage? I don't know that. Would, would that impact uh, whatever recommendation you might have in terms of a sanction? I don't recommend the sanction. I, I can't fire. I can't recommend a penalty. There is a guide that the deciding officials abide by, and they have, uh, they have a penalty guide that they look at. And the penalty guide for this kind of activity is anything from reprimand to removal. How about security clearance? Do you have any impact over that, whether or not an agent has a security clearance? No, there's adjudicative guidelines, and that has to be well, adjudicated I, 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 honestly, by the security people. What power do you have? You have to work with agents over whom you can't discipline and have no control, and you have no control over the security clearance. What the hell do you get to do? What I can do is build on and improve mechanisms to make sure that the outcome is what we believe the outcome should be. And that is what happened in Cartagena. That is what's going to happen moving forward. I, Inspector General Horowitz, I, I, I find that stunning. Um, let me ask you this. Did the did the agents know that the cartels were providing the prostitutes? Um, what we found, Congressman, from looking in the file was that they should have known, given their trained law enforcement agents and they were dealing with corrupt law enforcement, local law enforcement, that was providing them with the prostitutes as well as the, the various gifts. Were they um, supposed to be investigating these cartels? Uh, they were. So they are receiving prostitutes from cartels that they are supposed to be investigating. And she can't fire those agents. You agree with her? She can't fire them? Uh, I think as a matter of Title V, she can't directly intervene and fire, fire them. I do think one of the concerns we outline in the report as to DEA and the other three agencies is how they adjudicate these cases. They undercharge them in some instances. And so at DEA, for example, sexual harassment, if you're charged with that, there's only one punishment, removal. But if you're charged with conduct unbecoming or poor judgment, which isn't even actually a category, um, then you've got a range of penalties. And so one of the issues, as you know, as a former prosecutor, is how you charge the case. Um, and that has a consequence. Well, Mr. Chairman, I, I, I don't know what would need to be done, but I, uh, like my friend from South Carolina, find it stunning that you can solicit prostitutes. Uh, Administrator Leonhardt, do we know whether any of the prostitutes were underage? 
Do we know whether any of them were part of any human trafficking rings? Because the Bogota case happened a decade ago, there were no interviews of prostitutes. On the more recent one, the Cartagena one, it, uh, it did not uh, identify an age uh, for the prostitute involved. Mr. Chairman, I would just find it impossible to explain to any reasonable-minded person how an agent cannot be disciplined for soliciting prostitutes from drug cartels that they were ostensibly investigating. I, I, if the, I if find the, that stunning. If the gentleman will yield, if somebody murdered somebody, could you fire him? If someone murdered someone, there would be criminal charges, and that's how they'd be fired. But if they were, could you take away their security clearance? The office's security programs can review security clearances and take their clearances just as they did with the three agents in the Cartagena incident. The gentleman from South Carolina. The gentleman, yield for just a second. I'm sorry, I heard you say that there's one thing you could actually fire somebody for, which is sexual harassment. So let me see if I get this correct, Mr. Horowitz, Mrs. Leonard. If I flirt with a coworker in the office and that constitutes sexual harassment. I can be fired, but I can take an underage hooker from a cartel I'm investigating, and you can't fire me. Is that, is that what we're talking about here? Uh, actually, Congressman, if you charge the offense, removal is a possibility. If you charge something less, conduct unbecoming or poor judgment, you don't charge what actually occurred, that's when the, the ability to discipline is limited. And that's the concern we found, as you know, in our report. Thank you. Thank the gentleman, both from South